Hi, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a helpful new feature in Google Docs. And maybe you've been noticing this when you've been pulling up older documents. It does apply to pretty much anything that you've ever made in a Google Doc. And this is a new feature called tabs in Google Docs. So essentially what it does is it creates a really nice way for you to break up a lengthy document or create hyperlinks essentially to other sections of your document really in minimal time. So an example I have here is this is a document where I go over any type of like inclement weather information for teachers in my district. And I actually have been using this document for some time now and just update it with new things as things change. So it already has all the information here. And on this left hand side of my computer is where it shows tabs and outlines. So it might create some for you automatically, especially if you're really good about using headers and different text formats in your document. Like if I put titles or headers to break up different things, it does a good, nice job of that. But what I can do is essentially add in my own if I'm not using those, or if I want to break this up a little bit differently. So if I go into my tab, I can plus a bunch of different ones here and I essentially can make them wherever I want. So I can add a tab, I can rename it. Um, it's actually just pulling off the top of my page here. Um, if I add different headings, they'll automatically appear there, but I can add in my own. So basically what this does is it also adds a page to my document if I add in other tabs. So if you have a bunch of documents or a lot of information you want to communicate, I know I've done this in the past, and there's even examples on this, where I link out to different documents because I can't fit them all into one and I don't like the way that it looks or the links aren't working the way I want to. This allows me to pull in everything into one document and have all of the links here out to the side of those document tabs. So it just makes it easier for me to navigate and me having less Google Docs floating around. It can all be compiled into one without me technically having to scroll and scroll and scroll to get to those different sections. So let's say that, you know, the second page or this other section, this additional tab I want to put in my document is I pull up some meeting notes that we had um, about... I don't know, curriculum team meeting. Okay. So I can add in all these different things here, do all of that. And now instead of me having to click and link out to different tabs, if I just click this tab too, other people can see it. Big thing here is that if you start doing this and you make all these different documents, if not everyone has permission to see this, you'll get a notification saying, Hey, you have this tab here, but you need to change the permission settings or people will just start emailing you and telling you that. But it's nice, saves you some time. And if I'm wanting to embed lots of different resources within one guiding document, this allows me to do that really, really easily without having to send out 10, 15 different links. People can just come over here to these different tabs and access the resources from there. So if I wanted to rename these, I can. I can even put emojis if I want. So I can say main information, uh, and I can do and I can just keep going. I can add sub tabs, do all of the different things. And I can even add in, I can copy a link here to this too. So if I still want to have a link to this document, I can. But the nice thing is I can just go back and forth, makes it a lot easier if I need to. And if I ever want to delete this, I can. The document will be deleted, but the tab will. So thought I would share this. It just makes organizing and compiling a lot of information really quickly. Could be really helpful for lesson plans if you want to send students back to like rubrics or research they've done or even some notes that you've shared with them. Instead of you having to link all over the place, you can have them train them to use the tabs on the side to get to those different resources. So it makes it easy for you as a teacher as well as your students. I can even see like unit plans being made this way. Maybe the tabs are the different smaller lessons that make up that unit. Clearly there, there's lots of possibilities here and I'm just coming up with even more as I sit here and brainstorm. So I would love to hear how you are planning on using these features or if you've had success with them. Um, have a great rest of your day and let me know what you think.